with white pieces is playing Grandmaster Onishuk, an expert of Bishop D3 line, is playing against uh, strong Grandmaster, Indian Grandmaster Harika. The game is played in Abu Dhabi Masters in 2015. Bishop e3 and uh, in this game Harika played bishop e7 move. Queen e2, uh, white is going for long castle. Um, by the way, instead of queen e2, castle move is also possible. But queen e2 is more, much more dangerous for black. Queen e2, knight f3, queen f3, uh, castle, long castle. Next move, whatever, do black almost on almost next move. Our, uh, our next move is g4. Bishop d7 is played, uh, black develops their uh, bishop and they don't afraid from uh, sacrificing this pawn cause this uh, b-line will be opened on our king after rook b8 they will get some initiative. So we don't take the pawn, we just go g4, g4, queen a5, g5. And the game was played knight d5. Now if not knight d5, if knight e8, some passive move, now we already can take on b7. And now, despite of the fact that the rook b8 move is not possible because of the knight on e8, but now also is hanging two black pieces, rook on e8 and bishop on d7. After rook d8, we can gain also another pawn with a small tactic, knight e6 strong move. And now both bishops are hanging there. If f e6, then rook d7, we are two pawns up. If bishop e6, then queen e7, again we are two pawns up. So after g5, knight e8 is very bad for black, queen b7. g5 in the game was played knight d5. Here knight d5 move is possible, after queen d5 take take and we get a better ending. However, after knight d5, uh, only Shuk did a strong and better move. He played knight f5 as tactic here. Uh, the thing here is that after uh, ef5, Black don't take knight d5. It's also good. Knight d5 is possible. Knight d5, bishop d8. But black has two bishops. After e5, there is strong move queen d5. It's everything is very concrete. The thing here is that d7 bishop is hanging now, and the uh, only move for black is to take queen d5. Queen d5, knight d5. But now bishop on e7 is hanging, and if rook a8, then knight e7, uh, rook e7, bishop c5. And uh, white gains one of our opponent's uh, rooks, so exchange, we are exchange up. If knight d5, rook f8, then knight uh, c7, and again we gain exchange. After knight d5, if some move uh, like uh, bishop d6 or bishop d8, they are same. We give knight e7 check, strong move. Rook d7 now is coming, bishop e7, rook d7, and now we gain one of our opponent pieces, bishop on e7 or pawn on b7. So it's almost lost position for black, we are pawn up ending. So if e f5, then uh, queen d5, and we gain uh, very concrete lines, uh, minimum opponent pawn. So knight, uh, knight f5 here a strong move, now already knight d5 is coming. So the only move for black after knight f5 is to play uh, knight c3. Uh, knight e3 is not possible because of knight e7 and we are uh, piece up after queen e3 or rook d7, both of them. Knight f5 is played knight c3. We take knight e7, uh, king h8. Now if we take our opponent uh, knight uh, on c3, then black has queen a3 check and they take our e7 knight and everything is fine for black. After king h8, if we take the bishop, then knight a2 check. Uh, king b1, we should play uh, after king d1, they have rook fd8 or rook a d8 move. And uh, there is attack on our king and also the uh, e7 knight is uh, almost trapped there. And after king a2, king b1, black has strong move knight c3 check. Uh, and after bc3, they have queen b5 check and queen d7 and knight is also trapped there so we have some problems uh, after king h8 if we play bishop d4 move this is an interesting move the idea is that after knight d1 we have a nice sacrifice there bishop g7 and queen f6 checkmate however after bishop d4 black has queen g5 check 
And after rook d2, there are many moves that black is fine. The simplest one is knight a2, and then e5, closing our strong bishop on d4. But Onishuk did a strong move here, he played bishop d2. Instead of taking one of our opponent pieces, uh, the d7 bishop or c3 bishop, uh, or c3 knight, sorry, he played bishop d2. Idea is that white wants to take the knight and when the bishop stays on c3 and after bishop is on c3 is all the time bishop g7 move will be possible so the only move for black is knight a2 check king b1 now queen is uh, hanging there in the game was played queen d8 if black plays knight b4 then simply bishop b4 queen b4 and rook d7 and white is piece up after king b1, if queen a6 protecting the a2 pawn, then uh, white has strong move queen h3. And now uh, our opponent knight is trapped on a2, our knight on e7 is trapped too. But our knight on e7 is playing because now next move is coming g6 and attack continues there uh, and position is very bad for black. So uh, black was hurry to get our knight on e7, queen d8 was played. And uh, now uh, not taking on a2, queen a2 is just queen e7 and uh, black, has pawn, black is pawn up. After queen d8, Onishuk did another strong move, bishop f4. Bishop is going to d6. Uh, in the game was played queen e7 now. If uh, knight b4 instead of queen e7, then bishop d6, knight c6. And now the simplest one is knight g6 check. Now if h g6, then bishop f8. Uh, queen f8 and rook d7, white is exchange up, and if knight g6, fg6, then bishop f8 again, queen f8, take, and rook d7 again, we are exchange up. So after bishop f4, uh, black plays queen e7, bishop d6. Uh, now uh, we get uh, this exchange, and then knight on a2 is, will hang. If queen g5, then bishop f8. If rook f8, rook d7. Knight on a2 is hanging, and also if 7 pawn is hanging, b7 pawn is hanging, uh, and uh, we almost have winning position. So queen g5, bishop f8, and if bishop c6, uh, using this, that our queen is on f3 and rook on h1, we lose one of them, but we have queen f7 move, this is important moment. Queen f7 we have, and the bishop, after bishop f h1, rook h1, our opponent knight is trapped on a2, because uh, queen cannot go to protect him, because he was busy with protecting the g7 pawn. So, uh, knight, the next move we take the a2 knight, and we win the game. So after bishop d6, instead of taking queen g5, Harika played queen e8 move. Now the thing here is that after bishop f8, uh, black has bishop c6 move, and then he take our h1 rook. Uh, here we should uh, take bishop g7, king g7, check, uh, take the a2 knight, but after bishop h1, rook h1, it's almost equal position. However, after bishop d6, queen e8, Onishuk did another very strong move, he just played rook h e1, ignoring the a2 knight, ignoring the f8 rook, he just played rook h e1, running from uh, this bishop c6 move, and uh, the good thing is that uh, rook will also soon join the attack. Now uh, we want to take already bishop f8, and the next move, uh, after queen f8, take the d7 bishop or a2 knight. So black played rook g8. But now problem is that king on h, h8 is not uh, safe. Uh, strong attack now is coming on him. Rook d4 move is played. Again, ignoring this knight. Just tempo by tempo, a white start a very strong attack. Now is coming rook h4. And after rook h4, will be not possible just queen h3 or queen h5. But also after rook h4, will be possible rook h7 checkmate immediately. Rook h7, king h7, and queen h5 checkmate. Uh, so black played uh, after rook d4, bishop c6, queen h5. Now rook h4 is coming. Of course, g6 is not possible. There will be bishop e5 check. So after queen h5, uh, there was only move f6 uh, to protect against rook h4, but then g6 strong move. Now uh, queen h7 checkmate is coming. If queen g6, then checkmate from h4. 
and after g6 where the only move was h6 now h6 pawn is very vulnerable and Onishuk used it immediately with playing bishop f4 now bishop h6 is coming and um, rook f8 doesn't help just bishop h6 and checkmate from h7 and the only way to protect this bishop h6 tactic is to play e5 as was placed in the game by, by Harika. e5 bishop h6 and some move bishop f3 uh, now we of course don't take queen f3 because g8 6 but uh, only shook did another strong sacrifice bishop g7 check king g7 queen h7 check king f8 rook d7 and now queen and rook uh, are crushing the black king now rook f7 is coming with checkmate and if queen g6 queen e7 checkmate if uh, rook g6 then queen h8 check rook g8 queen f6 checkmate so after rook d7 there is not protection over rook f7 checkmate and the only way harika found it was to sacrifice her queen queen d7 he she played queen d7 queen d7 now again uh, queen f7 checkmate is coming so she played rook g6 but then queen f5 and uh, rook is hanging there f3 bishop is hanging there so um, black lost a big material and also their king is still under attack so she resigned a very beautiful game by uh, on the grandmaster on his shook everything started from this white plays g4 g5 and knight f5 move and through tempo by tempo, move by move, Onishuk played a very strong and uh, with crushing attack. He uh, played a very nice game with his favorite bishop d3 line. So this was about bishop e7 move. We play queen e2. Uh, we don't worry about losing a tempo that uh, we played queen e2 and then uh, we took mf3. Anyway, after long castle, we have advantage in development. Our pieces... Uh, I will make some green. Our pieces are developed uh, much better than opponent ones. And uh, long castle g4 and the strong attack is coming now. So now let's move to this position and instead of bishop e7 move we will explore a more aggressive one bishop b4 move. 